I'm making a mess, mess of this thing. broke. The plastic is so old, it's all brittle. So we're gonna have to put this in there. Inside this, how? With a file and some patience. Would, would it leak? No, if, not if I do it right. Okay. Yeah. I gotta get it just right. Well, it's the next day, and uh, we lived with the drain into the bucket routine, so we could do things like wash dishes and other stuff like that. There's a rag stuffed into the pipe because it's after the trap and that allows uh, sewer gas to escape although that little part there probably allows sewer gas out <coughs> the bottom there I could have put the trap on there but I didn't. However it's better than nothing and what else we got going here we have most of the parts needed to hook up the dishwasher which including the long pipe so we should be able to mark out and do that today first task is to get that sink hook back up I'm gonna clean that downspout a little bit looks pretty gross may as well while I have it uh, open tighten up all the connections make sure everything looks good and then install a fairly long run that's going to go all the way over to this corner and probably have a trap just before that break and I might just be cheeky and stick it in the corner we'll see once that's all done I'll put up a couple of pipe supports and we'll be pretty much done the uh, plumbing installation in terms of hoses, I've got lots of them. I've got a very long uh, drain hose. The gray slips into the blue. So I'll be able to do something called a high loop installation, which means the, 
the drain goes up, 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 up to the countertop and then drops down into the the uh, drain. Needs to be 32 inches above the ground, which I have. Uh, so which means uh, I'll be able to do that kind of installation. <clears throat> Didn't want to do an air gap. An air gap requires that you put a fixture in the countertop. I don't want to go through that. I don't find them all that nice looking, so we're going to go with the high loop. And the biggest challenge now is going to be just figuring out where to drill the holes. One of these drawers is going to be short. The question is, do I do it low or do I do it high? If I do it low, then uh, there's going to be this drain flopping around where you put your stuff on the cabinet side. You know, pots get slid in there. and There's a shelf there. Almost nothing in the cabinet goes all the way up to the point where the join is. However, drawers, you have never used the lowest drawer. I mean, you don't open it that much. The top drawer you use all the time. That's where you put your cutlery and stuff like that. Now, these are quite deep, so I might take a look at our top drawer and see if a cutlery tray fits in there. And then we can lose a couple of uh, inches off the back. Not a big deal. Because cutlery's <laughs> never a foot and a half long, pretty much, unless you're using a sword to eat your breakfast. So that's the next choice is what to do here. I can tell you that the hoses emerge from this dishwasher at the bottom, which is interesting. So it's likely that they're going to go down across, they're going to uh, cross the, the bottom or the top. If I put them across at the top, the other thing is I have to leave enough slack so that if you ever want to move this thing out to repair it or maintain it, you can get it out. So that's the next logistical challenge once we get that sink back into service. It was just hell getting that plumbing apart because there was no meat on the side pipe. This one's got about oh three centimeters or so. Maybe yeah, three, maybe an inch and a half of meat. The other one had nothing. It was elbow to T with nothing in between. So I I tried to salvage the T joint. That ended up shattering because the plastic's 30 years old and no longer all that flexible. So I ended up having to bodge a butt connector or a join into the T connector. So the I put it in with uh, the appropriate glue and then I put a line of silicone around that joint just to be safe and that's been curing for almost 24 hours now. So that should be okay. Be checking it later. Make sure there's nothing untoward about it. I'm feeling okay with it. We shall see. And the pipe fits in there. It's got a standoff from the wall of maybe one pipe diameter. Let's see, I think it's close to, close to a pipe diameter. It's not a pipe diameter. Yeah, it's about a pipe diameter. So that means it's it's going to be coming across this wall here about one pipe diameter off the uh, the back wall there. So it might make sense to set it up so the trap gets connected on that thing there somehow without putting too much strain on the pipe. And then the, the high loop will just drop into that drain and it'll uh, drain correctly. When you're putting these laterals, you have to remember to put give yourself a bit of a, an angle. The drop has to be X amount of inches per linear foot or eight foot length or whatever, but you know, a decent angle is probably a good idea to make sure you don't get standing water in your lateral. The uh, plumbing code does not like laterals that don't have a good angle to them. So we'll make sure that we've got a you know reasonably good angle there. And we'll put, oh, I don't know, this is about a three foot, 
can be around three feet. So, I mean, an inch over three feet is pretty good for draining water. That might be uh, plenty. We'll see. So, what you do now is, you, generally speaking, you dry fit everything, mark it with a sharpie, and then glue it together. <laughs> Always a bit of a you know high stakes situation because what'll happen is uh, if you make a mistake with your gluing once that stuff set you are stuck with whatever you got wherever it is so I usually take my time when it comes to dry fitting stuff into plumbing this kind of plumbing and I've done a lot of it over the years so like with electrical Electrical, you take your time because one mistake can electrify you and kill you. You take your time with plumbing because one mistake means you're cutting out a massive section of pipe, going back to the hardware store, repurchasing everything. It can be a big drag. So it's easier to just take your time, measure it out, mark it out with a pen, and then dry fit as much as you can, and then figure out what the critical joint is and do that one, uh, defer that one for as long as possible and then get it in there so that's generally speaking my strategy so what's going to be the critical joint here will most likely be fitting the T onto the stub because that's a collar so that means a little tiny piece of this stuff is going to be projecting out of that and the T joint is going to go onto that so you can this piece here, it just gets screwed on. It's the only thing that's really going to needs to get glued that's hypercritical. All that stuff before it joins into the T can be done outside of underneath here. So it's just ready to pop on. And then you set that sucker in there. So I would say that that's the critical joint. Anyways, enough talk. I've given you an idea of what I'm up to. As with all dishwashers, you're going to have a water supply which come off there. You've got to get rid of the water which is going to go into there and you need to somehow get electricity. I'm fortunate enough to have had the electricity already installed in the alcove so I don't have to worry about that. I just have to worry about around seven feet plus of hosing for both supply and drain that need to somehow make this corner through a cabinet and then through a set of drawers to get to the dishwasher. That's the that's the tricky part. This is a pretty long run along that back wall to get to the P-trap that's going to be set up just about there. So wish me luck. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing, giving me a like, and leaving me a comment. I really enjoy making these videos and I want to know from you how I can make them better. The whole point of these videos is to demonstrate that if I can do something, you can do it too. Well, that's it for now. So long. And remember, keep making.